This is a review of the summer packet Show What You Know skills assessment that we took on Friday. I'm going to work through each of these problems just for those who need a little bit of a refresher on how we solve them. Our first problem deals with improper, sorry, with mixed numbers and we want to change them into improper fractions before we uh, subtract the two fractions. So starting with our expression on the left, we want to change this to an improper fraction. We're going to do that by multiplying 7 times 4 is 28, and then add the numerator, 3 more, gives us 31, and we will keep our denominator. Minus, next expression is 4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 is 25, over 6 because we keep our denominator. Since our denominators are different, we need to find what number we can multiply both expressions by so that we will get uh, the same denominator. Looking at 4 and 6, I can see that they will both are uh, both multiples of 12. So I'm going to change my denominator in both expressions to 12. 4 times what number gives me 12? That was 3. So I now need to multiply my numerator by the same value, 3, to give me an equivalent fraction. So that will give me 93. 6 times what value gives me 12? Times 2. So I will multiply my numerator by 2 to give me an equivalent fraction. So 50 over 12. Now that I have like denominators, I can simply subtract the two numerators. 93 minus 50 is 43. Keep the denominator and that will be my simplified answer. Our next problem, 35.09 plus 6.4. The easiest way to do this is to rewrite the problem so that we align our decimals. 35.09 plus 6 Point four. And if you need to go ahead and add the zero after the four, just so that you see an even number of uh, numbers following the decimal point, then that's fine to do as well. Now we will add down. Nine plus zero is nine. Zero plus four is four. Six plus five is eleven. Carry the one. 3 plus 1 is 4. So our final answer is 41.49. Problem number 3. This problem calls for dividing two fractions. So we've all learned by now that you will keep it, change it, flip it. Thus, I'm going to rewrite the equation. 6 over 7 I will keep. I will change my sign to multiplication and I will flip my second expression putting the numerator in the denominator and my previous denominator in the numerator. Now I can multiply straight across. 7 times 6 is 42 7 times 3 is 21. If I look at my two expressions, I realize, uh, sorry, my fraction, I realize that 21 can go into 42 and even two times. So I would simplify this fraction to 2 over 1, which would then be simplified to 2.